afternoon, everybody, in my science class. Today is the 2nd of Mahuru. Mahuru is September. Uh, I'd like to roll along a little bit, but first of all, I'm going to just pick out uh, my laser pointer so you can see, the pretend laser pointer, so you can see what's going on. I'd like to look at the answers to the questions from last time and introduce some tough, techy buzzwords. We've got a few of them coming up. <coughs> um, last time we looked at this question here, and I did the answers for you. This is a screen from that PowerPoint, uh, and I think I explained that in the last video, but I've put that up there anyway. The textbook gives you this answer here, which is the same as mine, but slightly um, different order, and it's okay. The species of fish called made up A does not exist here, has two chromosomes. Um, I think they've messed things up a bit here, uh, but, my, but the answers they give are here, they messed it up. So if you've got Dad's got two copies of this. Mum's got a, one big one and one little one. It's going to finish up with two of one gender, two of the other, uh, two chances that are four of one gender, two chances that are four of the other. So out of 300 fish, you expect around about 150 of each. It probably won't be exactly that. Cool. Uh, we looked at the probability. Now we're going to move on to um, inheriting other things other than gender. Um, we, each each cell in our body has got 46 chromosomes in 23 pairs. And we've got one of each, um, and on, on those chromosomes, there are little chunks of information called genes. And we get one gene from mum and one gene from dad. And two copies of a gene are called an allele. Let's get on with it. Version of a gene that can have two different possibilities. Dominant, a stronger version of the gene, the information that will show up in the baby up in here. It says black fur color is controlled by uh, an allele, which is strong, it's dominant, it's got a capital B. White fur is dom controlled by a weaker allele, recessive, lowercase b. So dominant, powerful message, capital, capital B in this case. Recessive, weaker. This will only show up if both copies are there. In the dominant, if it's got one or the other or both being dominant, then the baby rat will have black fur. Uh, and before we move on, I would like you to pause the video here and write this stuff down here in orange and pink into your books, please. It's important that you get that because it's the sort of thing you'll need in the test. Plus, it's the sort of thing you'll need one day when you become a parent uh, because doctors use these words, particularly if there's genetic diseases in the family. Moving on, we got some more cool ticky buzzwords or ticky cool, cool ticky buzzwords, ticky cool buzzwords. Uh, moving along. And I'm going to ask you, when I finish going through these, to pause these as well and write them into your book. That's all for today. So, zygote, cool word. The cell form when a sperm joins an egg. When the sperm, that, uh, um, when my dad's sperm and my mum's egg met, that's what made me. And there is the, all the genetic information that made me. Zygous. Something zygous is a way of describing the genes in a zygote. Homo, two things that are the same. And we're going to use this in uh, the word zygous, homozygous, but we'll get on to that. Homosexual couples, homosexual couples rather, have two people who have the same sex. My cousin, uh, she's a, a nice lady. I've known her ever since she was a little baby, and she's married a nice lady, and they're a homosexual couple. Uh, two things that are different are hetero. Heterosexual couples have two people who are different sexes. I married a woman, I'm a man, so we're a heterosexual couple. Heterozygous. Hetero different. Zygous means what's in the zygote. Having one recessive and one dominant allele. For example, big B, little b, or little b, big b for a rat that has one gene for white fur and one gene for dark fur. Homozygous. Having both alleles that are the same. Now there's two possibilities here. It's a bit like there's only one type of hetero, heterosexual couple. Male, female. Female, male. But there's two types of homosexual couple, homosexual lesbian, homosexual gay guys. So um, you can have two types of um, homozygous um, information. We'll move on with that. That's called purebred. Phenotype is what shows up because it come from, comes from the word phenomenon. What's there? What is the phenomenon? What shows up? So if it's got capital B, capital B or capital B, little b. It will have dark fur. It'll be little b. It'll have white fur. 
The white fur and the black fur are the phenotype. The genotype is what type of gene the living thing has. And in this case here, let's pin down a bit more. If the two are different, they're heterozygous. If the two dominant, homozygous, both the same, dominant, both the same message that is big. Little b, little b, homozygous, recessive. Please pause the video there and write those things down. I'm sorry to give you a lot to do, but we need this information for later. That's all today, guys. Just a bit of reading and a bit of writing. Thank you, guys.